For many years, the measure of excellence has been defined through one man. This is Michael Jordan, widely regarded as the greatest basketball player of all time. The best basketball player needed the best shoes to play the game, which meant his shoes cost a lot of money. They did when I was a child in the 90s, and it seems like things don't change because in this video, we're going to break down the world's most expensive Nike Air Jordans. But before we start off with number 10, let's give an honorable mention to the 2005 Nike Air Jordan 4s, the retro M&M Encore version with the Marshall Mathers signed card. $44,100. In commemoration of his encore album, rapper Eminem teamed up with Nike in 2005 to make a unique blue, red, and black edition of the Air Jordan 4. According to Sotheby's, which sold this pair at auction in 2021, the first release reportedly only included 50 pairs, which were distributed to friends and relatives. Okay, so now let's take flight to number 10 on our list the 1995 Air Jordan 11's Concord Player Exclusive Game Worn Signed Sneakers, $56,250. The original laces, upper deck authentication on the autographs, and a Chicago Bulls letter of authenticity were all included with the sale of these size 13 mid-top sneakers. Christie's held an auction for them in 2020. A full length carbon fiber plate, a nylon upper, originally used on backpacks for camping trips, and nylon webbing loops for the lacing system are all features of the Air Jordan 11s. The patent leather panel on the toe surrounds the entire sneaker, which hasn't been imitated by Jordan or any other brand since. This is the key selling point of the 11s. Jordan asked for a gleaming basketball sneaker and he was given what he wanted. After all, he's Michael Jordan. We might just see another pair of 11s on this list as these sneakers are the most popular Jordans of all time. Number nine. The 1985 Air Jordan 1's Tong Yang Player Sample, Player Exclusive Signed Sneaker, $62,500. These high top sneakers, which Christie sold in 2020, have never been worn. They come with a James Spence letter of authenticity and the original laces intact. The left shoe is a size 13 and the right shoe is a size 13 and a half in classic Jordan fashion. Interesting fact, his parents made him sign with Nike as he was highly motivated to sign with Converse as that was the big brand at the time. And interestingly enough, as is the case with many corporations, they ended up acquiring Converse in 2003. Spoiler alert, the Air Jordan 1s happen to be the second most popular Jordans of all time, so we just might see them again on our list. Number 8. The 1997 Air Jordan 12's Flu Game $104,765. Despite having flu-like symptoms, which in reality turned out to be food poisoning from some bad pizza the night before, Michael Jordan scored 38 points for the Chicago Bulls in Game 5 of the 1997 NBA Finals, a performance that no true Jordan fanatic could ever forget. According to Soul Collector, this pair of sneakers beat the previous mark for Jordan game-worn footwear in 2013, which was $31,070. Number 7. The 1992 Air Jordan 7's Olympic Player Exclusive Game-Worn Sneaker, $112,500. This pair of shoes, to the fans' pleasure, was sold with a letter of authenticity from Jordan. A Team USA t-shirt created by Magic Johnson Tees was also given to the unidentified bidder along with the shoes by Jordan and was auctioned off by Christie's in 2020. The iconic number 23 that Michael wore throughout his career was replaced with a number 9 on these sneakers as this was his jersey number during the Olympics. Number 6. The 1995 Air Jordan 11's Space Jam Sample, $176,400. Ah, once again, the Jordan 11's, as we said, might make a cameo again on this list. These player sample Jordans, which were sold at auction in 2021, were dead stock and unworn. According to Sotheby's, the basketball legend signed them and put them up for sale in a special wood and velvet box. Fun fact, 
the 2000 Space Jam 11 Retros, one of the most anticipated sneaker releases of all time, debuted on December 13th, which was a Wednesday. Jordan Brand used to release shoes on Wednesdays regularly, but due to parents' irate phone calls about their children skipping school and midterm exams to wait in line, Air Jordan launches now tend to happen on Saturdays. Number 5 the 1984 Michael Jordan Olympic Converse is $190,373. Yes, these aren't Nike Air Jordans, but it might be safe to say that any shoe Michael Jordan wears becomes Air Jordans. At the 1984 Olympics, Jordan donned a pair of Converse sneakers before signing a sponsorship deal with Nike. The sneakers, which were sold at auction in 2017, are regarded as the last pair of amateur level shoes he ever wore and the final time he ever wore Converse in a competitive setting. They are signed and still have the original orthotic inserts. Number four. The 1985 Nike Air Jordan 1s, $560,000. We called it. Air Jordan 1s appear again on this list. In 2020, Jordan's first edition sneakers that had been used in a game and were personally signed by him sold for more than three times their estimated value. The red and white shoes have a left size 13 and a right size 13 and a half, which once again is a typical Jordan mismatch. The fact that these sneakers are inscribed with black permanent marker rather than his usual ballpoint pen makes them special as well. Number 3. The 1985 Nike Air Jordan 1 High Sneakers $615,000 I guess nothing ever beats the original, which is once again why we see another pair of Jordan 1s. And what pair of Jordan 1s is the most expensive? For a period in 2020, this pair of Nikes held the record for most expensive sneakers ever sold at auction. Jordan wore it during an exhibition game in Trieste, Italy, when he scored 30 points, but the highlight of that game was his dunk that broke the backboard's glass. Well, it's gotta be the shoes. Number 2. The 1984 Nike Air Ships $1.5 million like what was noted earlier, Michael Jordan has that Midas touch because, like the previous Converse's, these were not Jordan-branded shoes. These sneakers, which Michael Jordan wore in his fifth game with the Chicago Bulls during his rookie season, were purchased for $1.5 million at a Sotheby's auction in October 2021. According to Sotheby's, the basketball legend's oldest known pair of regular season Nikes are the size 13 red and white Air Ships. Now, before we get to number one, let's try something out here on Luxury of Lust. To commemorate the legacy of Michael Jordan in the world of luxury, let's get at least 23,000 likes on this video and at least 9,000 subs. So we'll give you 23 seconds to do so. And number one on the list of the most expensive Air Jordans goes to the 1998 NBA Finals Air Jordan 13s, AKA the Last Dance, $2.2 million. While these sneakers are a special pair because they were his last Jordans worn with the Chicago Bulls, undoubtedly, the popularity of these shoes was highly influenced by the popular 2020 ESPN slash Netflix documentary, The Last Dance, which is on Jordan's final season with the Chicago Bulls team, includes these NBA Finals. Sotheby's reported that a pair of Michael Jordan sneakers broke a record for game-used athletic footwear when they sold for $2.2 million. In Game 2 of the 1998 NBA Finals, the legendary basketball player wore the bread Air Jordan 13s which helped him win his sixth and last NBA championship. On June 5, 1998, Jordan donned the shoes during the second half of the Chicago Bulls' 93-88 victory over the Utah Jazz. Jordan led the Bulls to a 1-1 draw in the series with a game high of 37 points. Oh, and let's not forget to add that this pair of sneakers was autographed by Michael as well. Now, I wonder if we autographed a pair of sneakers if it would sell for 2.2 million bucks. Maybe we should try it. This is Luxury A Lust. Toodles!